Hey YouTube, check it out. We've got the Retrospective 30 from Think Tank Photo. This is a leather edition. It's brand new. Let's check it out. Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Pat Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Retrospective 30, the leather edition from Think Tank Photo. And what a great bag it is. I think the Retrospective series, in my humble opinion, is one of the nicest looking bags that Think Tank make. And this bag is in the green uh, sage color. The leather accent's really nice. I mean, you know, accent on the handle here, full coverage, leather cover on it. Um, great protection from the elements. You got a little bit of trim here uh, with the leather as well. So this is really gonna upgrade our everyday carry for sure. So let's start with the outside of the bag. There's a heavy duty strap on this bag, similar to other Think Tank products, and the leather accent continues on the shoulder pad. This is a wicked heavy uh, shoulder pad here with the silicone rubber grippy material on the inside, so it's not gonna slip off your shoulder. I mean, this thing is just, you know, effortless. Just sling it over your shoulder and go, which is great. On the back of the bag, there's a nice, generous slot here where you can put a MacBook Air if you want, uh, something small. And just to give you a perspective, um, here's my MacBook, it's a 13 inch. It fits into the slot, but the zipper's not gonna do up. It's not designed for the 13 inch, but it'll take 10 or 11 inch. So, you know, a great uh, storage there. More other, uh, leather accents on the zipper pulls. On the front of the bag, you've got the leather cover. Now, also on the outside of the bag, um, what you've got here is two really heavy-duty loops. So that if you want to put one of the modular skin set uh, pouches, hook it onto the loop here, or some other uh, pouch or attachment, you've got a, a heavy-duty ring here you can hook it onto. You've got storage on either side of the bag. So there's a couple of heavy pockets here. You can jam some small items into here. And you've got the loops. Open up the bag. And on the front of the bag, what I noticed is different from the other retrospective versions was that on the leather edition, you have one single pouch opening. And I've noticed on some of the other retrospective series, you have two separate pouches here. You can almost fit a full uh, camera body in those pouches, but this version has the one large compartment here, your rain cover stored here. You know, I've got a bunch of odds and ends here. Crow's foot for the speed light, got a couple of radio triggers, camera wipe. You know, it's great for small items. You can even fit a, a iPad mini in here if you wanted to. And you can close it up with the Velcro. Or you can take the Velcro and fold it on the inside and then this just stays open so you've got easy access, which is handy. Also on the inside of the front flap here, you've got Think Tank's uh, latch mechanism here, or you can use the Velcro. I'm not a big fan of the Velcro. I mean, it holds things secure, but, you know, if you're out in nature and you come across a critter or something you want to take a picture of, when they hear this ripstop noise, it's all over. So... I tend to use the buckle more than I use the Velcro, but it's just personal choice. Your choice, actually. So on the interior of the bag, I'll just tip this up for you so you can get a good look. This bag is designed to handle a full-size DSLR with a grip on it. And as you can see, it fits our D200 fairly well. I've got 18 to 50 Sigma lens on here, uh, grip. You know, the hand strap, the whole nine yards. It's just the way we roll, so it fits in really well. And I didn't really uh, work at trying to pack this bag. I don't like bags where everything is packed so tight you can't get at it easily. And this, our camera just drops in there. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, lots of room, and, and there's tons more room for putting other stuff. But I'll show you what we've packed into it so you get the general idea. So there's a D200 iPad mini and I've got this heavy uh, silicone rubber grippy uh, thing on it here in case because I'm clumsy right I'll drop it on a cement floor and then it's done so this thing's probably three quarters of an inch thick and it fits into this slot on the inside of the bag just fine no issues whatsoever I've got a Yongnuo speed light on this side 
And again, I'll try and show you. So on both sides of this bag is identical. You have a pocket down here, which is established by one of the dividers, which simply Velcros in place. So you can move it one way or the other. Same thing on the other side. But you also have, if you fold these little tabs up, you should be able to see there's a little Velcro uh, strip here. There we go. And then you've got another dedicated pocket. So if you want to put batteries or a small speed light or you name it, an uh, air blower, what, what have you, you can shove it in there. And it's the exact same storage on the other side. So the two flaps come over is going to keep you know moisture out of that area. So it's a, a great situation. On the other side of the bag, we've got a blower, a rocket blower. We've got our Hoodman hood loop. And look at this. This will give you an idea how much room there is. I'm a fan of the uh, Gary Fong light sphere, the original one. And the, the biggest problem with this thing is that it's so big and round. How do you store it? How do you get it in a camera bag? It takes up a lot of room. So what I've always done is I just collapse it like so fits down the side and there's tons of room for a, a lot of other little small items so no real issue that way now on the other side I've got an 85 millimeter prime and a 50 millimeter prime I could have shoved in here um, a 70 to 200 just depends on what you want for a particular shoot you know it's, it's completely up to you but what a great looking bag and when you put it beside the City Walker 20, this will give you a real perspective. The retrospective is definitely a little bit deeper bag. I mean, you can see it through this way uh, for sure. So it's going to give us more room for the everyday uh, stuff that we carry. Um, <clears throat> Same idea as the City Walker, but just more room with the Retrospective 30. Another great feature of this bag that I almost completely forgot to mention, and that is on the inside of the bag. So you have this generous pocket on the front here for whatever you care to put in it. I mean, you could even drop in here Quite sure our iPad Mini will fit in there. Yeah, it fits in there no problem, and that, it's fitting in beside the rain cover. So there's tons of room here. A full-size iPad would fit in here. I'm I'm quite sure. So we'll put that out of the way. Let's close this up. But also on the inside of the bag, you've got another flap here, and when you lift this up. Now you have Think Tank's traditional uh, organizer pocket, so you got room for pens, business cards, all kinds of little things, model release, you, know, you name it. You can stuff a whole ton of stuff in here as well. So I don't need to tell you I'm a big fan of Think Tank bags. I mean, I, they, they think out their stuff really well. The bags are well made. Um, I've got a ton of them. I haven't worn any of them out yet. so. All I can say is if you're interested in the Retrospective 30, the leather edition, you may want to keep your eye on it. People, this bag's so nice looking, somebody's going to swipe it on you, but it doesn't scream camera bag. And really, it's just a nice step up from the City Walker, both in size and quality and appearance, you know. So if you want to impress your clients, this is the bag to do it with. If you want to go... Uh, make them think that you're a poverty alley guy, kind of guy, then go with the city walker. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> I'll leave that to you to sort out. But uh, Retrospective 30 from Think Tank Photo, it's a great choice. Go out and buy it with confidence. That's it for this one. I hope this helps you. Um, if you ever have questions about any of the reviews I've done, um, I think you've probably seen me in the past say that I'm a straight shooter. Um, post your questions in the comments. I can't promise I get to, to everybody, but I, I do look as often as I can. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. And uh, enjoy the bag if you buy one, and we'll see you next time. 
Don't forget to subscribe and like us.